In this video, you're going to learn how we got some steps and a small deck for our above ground swimming pool. Stay tuned to find out how. Hey, hello everybody. I wanted to share with you a, a way to have a pool deck um, other than building it from scratch yourself. So what we have here, guys, is, sorry from a lizard and my dog here, uh, what we have here is a set of trailer, FEMA trailer steps. So I live in uh, Louisiana. We had terrible floods in 2016 in our area i was fortunate to be one of the few people in my area that did not flood but a co-worker of mine uh, his house did flood so he had a fema trailer uh, at his on his land for um, a year and a half or two years something like that but anyway when we got this new pool uh, i had told him i wanted his uh, fema steps whenever he was done with them so finally you know it was a pretty long time but he finally said hey come get the steps so what we did is we had to cut these steps at the uh, off between the deck and the steps right here we had to cut that to transport it I had a lawnmower trailer over here uh, behind me and uh, part of the steps were in the uh, my friend's truck and then I had the rest of the deck on my lawnmower trailer utility trailer all right so we got that over here and we situated it where we wanted it looks like I need to spray for some wasps too huh so uh, what I had to do is I had to buy some cinder blocks here and I had to elevate the deck up to a higher higher level here so you can see I've got two square cinder blocks and then the part where the uh, the uh, post fits in uh, fitted part right there okay so I, ha I had to bit get a total of eight of the square ones and four of the other type to slide them into all right so what we what we had until just a couple days ago is we had the railing of the steps on both sides and you know it worked and obviously the steps ended right here so we still had a long step down so i had a plastic uh stool to step on down here at the bottom and that didn't look that great and so what we did a couple days ago my wife and i we uh we went and i went to home depot and i got a couple of these things right here to extend the steps down and then I got two of them at first and two of these okay so when we realized hey we need one in the middle for more support in the middle so we got another one of those and then when we started looking at the rest of the steps we had these like this and then like hey let's let's go ahead and remove these uh, steps uh, that the FEMA people put on here and let's put these boards to match all the way up so that's how it looks uniform all the way up and the reason this is double wide here uh, is because of where we uh, added on and there was also you know the railing was right here so what we did I had to get a, uh, a sawzall and I saw the post off right here all right but we left this part on here because of the support and that's what this was connected to so we left this piece here and we saw this off and uh, screwed this in right here and we did the same thing on the other side saws all right here left that little post also this post is giving support to the cinder blocks uh, right here uh, where it's leaning on all right so <clears throat> we there was a little piece right under here uh, that we just cut off this went down to about right here for some reason where it was so we cut that off with the saws all and we cut uh, there was a little corner section here as you can see right here we cut this off as well we lift a little higher <coughs> when we were 
buying the uh, steps the other day, uh, we did see, you know, they had some nice little caps that you can put on the posts, fence posts. So we thought we'll cut it a little higher and we'll get one of those little decorative caps, metal caps. So that's why this is a little higher. That's the plan for that right there. All right. So <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't thrilled about the idea of taking the top of the step railing off. Uh, I didn't want to do that for safety purposes. Also, we have these large things that my daughter uh, floats on and catches rays and stuff. And so a lot of times that'll just be propped up right here. So I wasn't too wild about cutting uh, cutting that down. You know, we may come back. My wife thought she wanted to cut it, you know, like about right here, all the way across. Uh, jury's still out on that, whether or not we'll do that or not. But also we did buy some stain to uh, stain these steps and try to make it all kind of blend in a little bit more together. So we did buy some wood stain, exterior wood stain. So all this wood right here, probably these boards were like $15 a piece. So plus the underneath uh, part there that we got, three of those. So about $100 in wood right here. These cinder blocks that I purchased were not very, uh, five bucks a piece, something like that. So they weren't too bad. Now it was strenuous to uh, haul them back here, but obviously we had to get the blocks and to get it up higher uh, with, to even with the pool. That's why we had to do that. So also you can see over there by the ladder, I had two pieces of board I cut to have somewhere for the uh, ladder on the inside to screw into. Otherwise it wasn't, wasn't gonna work. So anyway, so we went to a lot of trouble to use these steps, um, you know, for the steps themselves, people were giving them away for free. People were selling them on Facebook Marketplace when people started hauling the trailers out after the time period was up. Some people were selling them for like $100, $150. Uh, we got that one for free. And you know, another, this wood here, 100, maybe 200 bucks of materials that I purchased separately. So was it all worth it? You know, I think it's gonna look nice. If you're not comfortable with using a post hole digger and building your own deck uh, into the ground, you know, you could certainly do that. And, you know, may look better. Pro you know, you won't have all the concrete like we have here. But anyway, it's kind of a, a different way of doing things on the steps here. And we got a nice deck. I do definitely like having the railings off here. So that's what we did. So, you know, if you want to do something similar, similar to this, it, uh, you may continue doing it. You're just gonna have to have, you know, the things to do to move it and stuff. So, anyway, that's what we did. I'm not saying this is the best for your situation, but that's what we did for our our steps up here to our pool and our small deck area. So, hope you enjoyed it and. Um, Maybe it'll be useful to you. All right, thanks. <laughs>